Hello and welcome to another release from DNN Sharp. This time we have an add-on for Action Form to collect digital signatures. And this can be either uh, inputted via mouse or they can be provided using uh, touch devices like a smartphone, a laptop with touch screen or a tablet. And there are many use cases for this um, new add-on. One would be maybe to collect signatures and automatically generate contracts or agreements. Another one would be to give uh, consent to some uh, website or some service to do something with your data, for example. And um, I have here a demonstration form. This uh, is a public form. You can check it out yourself. It lives on our site on dnnsharp.com and from here you can navigate to the action form page and then select the DNN electronic signature from the list of add-ons. So what this form does, it collects some personal information and it will automatically generate a PDF using um, another one of our add-ons. We have an add-on that generates PDF from HTML templates. So I'll just fill my information here. And next, I get this signature field where I can just place a signature. And if I'm not happy with it, just clear it. If you have a touch device, like uh, I have a touch screen here, you can just use it, this feature and do it until you are satisfied with it. Next, I just click the button and the way we configure this form, it will redirect, redirect me to the PDF agreement. So you can see here, we it has a, a name and it has my name that was taken from the form and it also has this new signature. And the setup of this form is, is uh, ridiculously simple. And uh, I will show you this. Okay, so what we have here are some uh, form fields, uh, like we collect the information that we're interested in, and then we have this signature field, which, like any other field, has some configuration options, like you can select the folders where to upload, and you can specify a pattern for naming the files, otherwise there'll be some random GUIDs. And the important thing here is to know that it will generate these tokens for you so you you have access to the relative url absolute url and the file path and you'd use the file path for example in the email action you need a local file path but uh, for redirects for example you need the absolute url or the relative url it depends how you want to build your application so let me show you how we built this demo application so for the we have the signature field it has this name and we just in the button we just added an action to generate a pdf and here if we look at the html code you can see there is an image tag here it's a plain html image tag and it uses one of the tokens that i showed you earlier so this would be the name of the field called signature followed by the absolute URL. So this means that we want the absolute URL of the image. And this will work for the uh, PDF generator to produce the PDF that we saw, the PDF agreement that we saw earlier. So what we do after that, we just email it. We send it to the email address that was provided in the form. And then in the attachment, we use a token it's called PDF but this is something we created earlier so in the generate PDF we did 
the same thing we store the physical path in a token and then we just use that token so we use the physical path to attach it to the email and finally what we did we just redirected to th that PDF again this is another token that we created here in the PDF action so again in the PDF we used the image and then we store the path and the URL to the PDF and we use those in the email and the redirect action so that's all the setup is not uh, it's not complicated it's actually very easy and you're actually getting um, something that looks very uh, secure very professional and very modern anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions feel free to just drop us an email or a open a ticket on our forum thank you for your time